Welcome to the 2011 annual Sheboygan Kennel Dog Show. <laughs> it's a wonderful day. Um, the weather is a little bit cool, as you can see from my coat, but we're going to go see the dogs today. So, my name is Laura Griffin. I'm Vice President of Sheboygan Kennel Club, um, and we hold this annual event each year in about the third weekend in September on Saturday and Sunday. Um, there is admission to the show. It's fairly inexpensive, three dollars a day for a car load or five for both days. Um, and so let's go see the dogs. Hi, could you tell us a little bit about this unusual breed, what your name is and where you're from? Well, I'm from Minnesota. My name is Cartrell Cooper. I'm, this is a Commodore and they're from Hungary. And you look like they're a working dog, which used to guard the sheep and protect the, the gameskeeper's animals while they were away. Um, her hair is corded. This one's about three years old. It takes about six to eight years to get them into full cord. And it's a cord. It's a, actually a, a worked mat that you control to make it look like it the way it is. I've been training dogs for over 30 years, and she's a fun one. A lot of times people can't approach them, but this one has a really pleasant personality, enjoys being around people, and, and is easy to work with. She's just beautiful. I love the corded coat, too. Thank you. Yeah, you know, it, it does protect them. Like if wolves were to walk up to them and try to bite them, it protects them from that. Um, they have, they're not known to be a, as playful as this one is, but they're a joy to be around. They make a good family dog. I usually tease people and call this one a roster retriever from Jamaica, but it's actually a Commodore. <laughs> Thank you. You're quite welcome. <laughs> and good luck today. Thank you very much. Hi, can Hi. you tell us about your breed and where you're from and, and what your name is? Yeah, my name's Roger. Uh, I'm about 40 miles south of Chicago. This is a Briard, which is a French herding dog. Uh, his name is Aiden, six and a half years old, and as you can see, very well trained. <laughs> uh, Seems to be enjoying the grooming process. Yeah, uh, and this is actually hair. This isn't fur, believe it or not, it's a non-shedding breed. Very old breed. How old is this dog? Uh, he's six and a half. Oh, such good shape. Yeah, and the color is tawny. Are you here for both days of the show? Yes. Yeah, yeah. He is the number three Briard in the country. Wow. In a breed. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a good boy. We really have nice quality dogs coming to the show. Absolutely. Yeah, and the, the disposition of the dogs has been getting better and better. Yeah, very nice quality of animals. Wonderful. <laughs> Hi, I'm Laura Griffin again, and I'm talking to Dee Dee, Deanne, um, and you are from Sheboygan, Correct. which is great. Can you tell us a little bit about your poodle? Well, this one isn't even mine. This is my friend Laura DeSombre's poodle, and she's in the performance ring. So I volunteered to do her out and to take her in the ring. My miniatures don't go on until later this afternoon, so I had the time. What kind of coat do you call what she has on? Is this a puppy coat? This is a puppy trim, the show puppy trim. It's, this is, she is uh, nine months old. Her name is Taylor, and she is, uh, color-wise, she's a blue. I don't know if you can see the difference on uh, the camera or not. Can you tell me why people should purchase a poodle? From a breeder, a reputable breeder, because we give our dogs the best of everything. Uh, the pet you buy from a reputable breeder will have the same care as the best in show dog. And that's very important to be socialized proper food, proper shots, and the parents are genetically tested because the breeder is going to keep one and wants a good, healthy dog. So your pet will be have a bigger chance of being a good, healthy dog. What drew you to purchase poodles in the beginning? That was 50 years ago. <laughs> I bought a pet for my mother oh my. and within weeks became enamored of the silver miniature poodle. And I've been as crazy ever since. <laughs> <laughs> crazy in a good way. <laughs> well, thank you, Didi. You're welcome. And good luck. Thank you. I need it. 
<laughs> Hi, right now we are with the breeder and the owner of this Border Collie and we're going to learn where they're from, what their names are, and what the dog's name is. Um, I'm Julie and I'm from Fond du Lac and this is Linda. Hi. <laughs> and Linda's from Juneau, Wisconsin. So, so um, we're here today just to put Jaden in the breed ring. He is a working dog. He's a working Border Collie. So um, he, he does sheep and he's also kind of a pretty boy. So trying to get a championship on him. He's, he's got a lot of points and a major. He just needs one little major. So, and I would also like to continue working him with, with, with the sheep. So you can see that a working dog can also be a very nice looking dog, structured well. He is beautiful. And, well and he's so friendly. He's just geared toward all yeah. the people around him. Yes, that's Linda's breeding. <laughs> very, very, very friendly. <laughs> That line loves people, and he, he really loves people. <laughs> so. Well, it's great that you work them, too. Thank you. <laughs> That's the, those breeds you almost have to. <laughs> yeah. well, thank, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, we're here right now with a Border Terrier and its handler, and we're going to ask her her name, where she's from, and about the dog. My name is Margaret Henning, and I'm from Northbrook, Illinois. And this is um, Walker, or Grand Champion Fairview Mile Marker, and he's a two-year-old Border Terrier. Say hi. Can you tell us a little bit about Border Terriers? Um, sure. Border Terriers are one of the older terrier breeds. They were originally bred to um, hunt with the hounds. They would go on fox hunting um, excursions, and if the fox, you know, like went to ground, it was the Border Terrier's job to go to ground and to <laughs> pay attention. Um, it was the Border Terrier's job to go to ground and either bolt the fox, kill the fox underground, and generally just sort of assist uh, in fox hunting. And then they were also just a kind of a dog um, in England and Scotland, on the border of England and Scotland, and would just help with, you know, get rid of vermin. And uh, they're great companions, great hunters, very smart, um, very busy little dogs, very, very sweet, and just a nice all around. They're probably the least terrierish of the terrier breed. Um, you know, they're very good at kind of relaxing at home, but then when you get them out, you know, with a critter, they're, you know, full force, you know, ready to take out whatever, you know, whatever it is, you know, whatever critter's in front of them. It looks like his growth isn't too, too um, dastardly. Uh, they actually will grow about a, about a four to five inch coat. They'll kind of look like Benji. And so if you want to, um, you know, so if you have a pet border terrier, you can strip them out about two to three times per year. They'll get super shaggy, but if you're um, doing a show dog, on them at least once or twice a week to keep this um, this coat the way it is. So, and Walker just won the Border Terrier Club of America's national specialty. Congratulations. Thank you. So I think there were about 230 Border Terriers entered and wow. he was chosen as the best Border Terrier there about a week and a half ago. That's fantastic. Um, yes, that was pretty exciting. So he's one of the top Border Terriers in the nation. Uh, yeah, he, we haven't shown him a bit, but you know, to be chosen as best to breed at your national yep. is, you know, definitely... Um, being kind of tagged as one of the top boys out there, one of the top dogs out there. So we're pretty proud of what he's done um, recently. Good luck on the shows this weekend. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Right now we're with a rough collie and his owners, handlers. They're going to tell us a little bit about him and about themselves, where they're from. John and Melody Haddon, we're from Eagle, Wisconsin. And uh, we have a rough collie, Sable. Uh, his name is Romeo. He's uh, won Winner's Dog the last two shows, and we're hoping that uh, we can cross over and get a major today, and uh, he can be finished. So He is beautiful. Well, thank you. Yeah, we think so, too. Over by the Romeo. Romeo. Can you tell us a little bit about collies and what they were used for? Collies are uh, herding dogs. Um, they were used for uh, gathering sheep, ducks. And uh, they uh, are very good with kids. We have uh, small grandchildren, and they just love them. They hug them, and um, they can be lap dogs. They're kind of big, but uh, they like to be uh, uh, caressed. And uh, you know, we had one little one when our kids were little that used to babysit for the kids. We used to put them on a blanket. When the kid got off the blanket, he barked, and then we know, you know, so. They're good. They're watchdog. They, they uh, bark when somebody comes in the yard. So they're a pretty versatile dog. Love your tie, too. It's got yeah, all the collies cool. on it. It's just a great tie. <laughs> well, good luck 
during this weekend. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hope you get the win. So do I. <laughs> Can you tell us what your name is, where you're from, and a little bit about the, the Las Opsa that's here? Yes, my name is Karen Schleiss. I'm from Medford, Wisconsin. And this is my loss. This is one of our losses. It's, he's co-owned by myself and LaVon Bennett. He's a, he's a little boy. He's just a, almost nine months old. And um, the breed in general is usually fairly active, quite lively. They can tend to be a little, they're a little bit um, of a guard dog, so they do kind of let you know if something strange is going on. They are very alert, uh, very aware of their surroundings and what's going on and things, but they're a fun, loving dog, very lovely person, wonderful personalities. They just have to be treated properly. They can be, you know, mistreated and, and become abused real easily, but for somebody with the right, you know, for the right people, the right family, they are just wonderful dogs, great personalities. He's really having fun. And, and he's and he's full of it, yes. He's very full of it. He's very full of his puppiness. And we're hoping he's going to walk on four feet today. <laughs> That's what we're going for. I love it when he lays down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't keep him real clean, but he likes oh. to lay down and keeps him, you know. Like I said, we're going for, we're going for the fun and ex experience right now. Because like I said, he's just almost nine months. So we're just trying to get some experience with him sure. and, and get him in the ring and get him to walk on all four feet. So... <laughs> We're here right now with a Samoyed and her owner, and we're going to ask a little bit about your name, where you're from, and tell, please tell us about your dog and what you're entered in. Wonderful. My name's Debbie Cedar, and this is Echo. She's 10 years old. Um, we mostly do agility and obedience. Um, lately, just a lot of obedience. Um, she's pretty much the top-ranked obedience dog in the nation. Wow. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's exciting. I love obedience. I, I play a little bit in herding and... Um, confirmation things like that but obedience and agility that's right echo yeah she's just beautiful thank you so yeah obedience is a big day today so uh, when are you that. when are you entered um this afternoon we're showing in the afternoon trial okay, so echo echo up yay say hi <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us why you got into Samoyeds? Well, actually, uh, more of a whim. Saw a cute puppy about 15 years ago and got one. And that's her mother, actually. Um, her mother also was very, very good in obedience and top ranked. And I'm just kind of continuing the line. So she's 10 years old, though, so she's getting up there in age, but she's still able to do everything. So well, That's great. Well, yeah. good luck today. Well, thank you. You have a great day, too. Can you tell us your name, where you're from, and about your Briard here? Uh, my name is Carol Busey. I'm from Appleton, Wisconsin. Willow is the name of my Briard. She is just three years old, so she's still a baby in Briard world. She is a French herding dog. Uh, she's sent up in the mountains with the uh, sheep in spring, and they don't uh, pick them up until fall. And in the meantime, there's no human beings, so they tend the flock, they feed themselves, and they fend off the wolves. And they live right within their flock. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And they usually send them up with multiples. And you'll have, I have learned from watching them, it seems like the females keep the interior and the males guard the exterior. Uh, they're very strong-willed, um, very independent, uh, but not a needy breed. This hair looks horrible, but they're non-shedding. They will mat, but uh, otherwise they're very maintenance-free other than having to brush him a couple times a week. And as you can see, she loves people. She loves people. <laughs> Great with children as long as you are a dominant, strong owner, as long as you're the alpha. Well, she's just lovely. I just got a nice face licking here. So. <laughs> Her coat is just magnificent, too. Thank she's you. She's really soft. She's not in full coat yet. She's still got about five inches to go. And uh, they come in two colors. They come in variation, or three actually. Variation of tawny, which this is. You have the black, which is solid black. And then you have what we call gunmetal, which is kind of a silver gray. But those are the only acceptable colors. Uh, females run roughly 22 to 25 inches tall. Males run 25 to 27 inches tall. 
She comes in about 60 pounds. Uh, she's also an agility dog. Wow. And uh, we won't talk about obedience. Oh. <laughs> and she's going to start herding next month. Oh, that's fantastic. They, you know, they're not, they'll do whatever you ask of them. If you have to do book work, she'll sit quietly and let you do book work. If you need to go out and run and jog, she'll jog. She's just a beautiful representative of the Briard. Definite bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Can well, you edit that one out? <laughs> thank you so much. And good luck today. Thank you. Um, Aiden, who she's showing up against, is like number two in the country. But uh, so the odds are she will not win today. But she needs to be seen and she needs to get out there and she loves to show. So you keep them out just to make sure that they get seen and shown. Hi, can you tell us your name where you're from and about the two dogs that are right here? Um, I'm Mandy Carl, and we are from Savage, Minnesota. And this is Aiden, he's a Shih Tzu. And then this is Carrie and she's a Bouvier. Can you tell me about the breeds themselves? Um, well, this is a toy dog, and so they're in the toy group. And then Carrie's a herding dog, so she's shown in the herding group. And she is a top five Bouvier. And then this is Aiden's first show with me today. Oh, that's great. <laughs> So first show, what about the Bouvier? Um, yeah, she's been shown, she's a, she's a top Bouvier, so she's special. So she's shown, she's a multi best in show winner, and um, she's shown to be, you know, ranked. They're just beautiful. Thank you. Well, good luck today. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Can you tell me your name, where you're from, about your and yeah. about your Dalmatian, please? Sure, I'm Marianne Ronson. I'm from Rosendale, Wisconsin, so I'm not very far from here. This is my Dalmatian, Jack. Uh, he's a Rosendale, Dakota, Jack of all trades. He's liver spot. He's brown. And he's of, not black and white, he's then. not <laughs> black and white, that's right. Uh, about 25% of the breed are, are brown spot, and I know a lot of people will say, oh, is he really a Dalmatian? And yes, he is. How was he entered today? Um, he was the only Dalmatian entered, so he did take breed. So oh, that's great. Hopefully he'll do something in group. Mm -hmm. But he's just a puppy. He's just a little over a year old. He's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. And good luck. Thank you. We're with Sharon Bruxen right now, who is a current Sheboygan Kennel Club member. Hi, Sharon. How are you doing? Good. Thank you. Good. Good. Can you tell us about your dog, uh, the breed, um, and how you did today? This is a toy fox terrier, and she's a grand champion, and she took breed today, best of breed, best of breed, best of breed. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about what toy fox terriers are like, and what drew you to the breed? Well, I liked it. my when I was raised with my uncle when we was a kid, we made a rat terrier, so and I always liked to just. To just the spots and the short hair and uh, lap dog and upright ears and the short tails and that's the breed I liked. So then I had him for about 20 years now and she just turned a year old. She's really pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, good luck at the shows. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you too. <laughs> We're here right now with three Shiba Inus and their handlers uh, and can you tell us where you're from and your names please? I'm Pam Crowley and this is Noel. We're from De Pere, Wisconsin. My name's Leah Crowley and this is Sumi. Um, she's my mom so we're both from De Pere. <laughs> uh, I'm from Schamburg, Illinois. My name is Yori Green. Her name is Hannah. Um, what drew you to Shiba Inus? as a breed. They're independent nature. We, we really enjoy that they're not a clingy dog. They're more cat-like in temperament. We like that about them. And they're beautiful. <laughs> How long have you had Shiba Inus? Uh, over 20 years. And you've been showing long too? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> and <it> still is. <laughs> All three are beautiful. I think the judge is going to have a hard time. So, <laughs> oh, thank you. They're very nice. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. Good luck at the showing. Thanks. Thank you. The judge right now is judging standard poodles. 
and they are gating the dogs for the judge. Judge is watching. She's just placed the class. As you can see, there's three whites and one black in the show ring. And when judges are judging confirmation, they're looking at how the dog is built, how the dog is moving, essentials of that breed. And the blue ribbon goes to number 18. We're here right now with two Chow Chows, and I'm going to ask you where you're, what your names are and where you're from. We are Vicki and Phil Degree, and we're from Janesville, and we come here almost every What draws you to the Sheboygan Kennel Club show? It's a nice, friendly little show, and you have the greatest brats that we've ever had. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> what drew you to this breed? Um, actually, she did. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I like the, the uh, aloofness of the dogs, you know, um, they're, they're very nice, well-kept well, uh, house dogs. Um, what, are, what are the names of these dogs right here? This is, Kate, uh, this is Katie over there in the red, and this is Alice. And about how old are they? They're uh, two. And they, they each only need one point to finish their AKC title, so. Oh my. Close. We hope to win on one, one of them today. <laughs> well, good luck. Thank you very much. We're here right now with a Finnish Spitz and a Cardigan Welsh Corgi. And can you please tell me what your names are, where you're from? Um, Mackenzie Mann and my mom, Diana Mann. We're from Rochester, Minnesota. Wow, you had a drive. <laughs> yes, we got here last night. Can you tell me why why you have a Finnish Spitz? Um, this is a client dog of mine. His owner is in Montana and wants me to take him out and show him for a while. So you're the handler? Yes, yes. And this is my up-and-coming boy. He'll be going in the show ring soon. He just turns six months tomorrow. Oh, golly, he's just a puppy. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell us why you have a cardigan? Um, the breed. We breed cardigan Walsh corgis, and then he's my handler my client dog and we've been breeding them for about seven eight years and he's what is it about the cardigan welsh corgis um, that you like the whole demeanor they're just so laid back they're just clownish personable dogs and they are really big dogs in a little body they're pretty fearless and they just really fit into our family dynamic he is a clown <laughs> yes definitely <laughs> we just love him well, good luck in the showing. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, can you tell us your name, where you're from, and about your Cavalier King sure. Charles Spaniels? These are Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. I'm Lori Grudemont. I'm from Menominee Falls, Wisconsin. And we're here today to show these two a um, little later this afternoon. Right now I'm just exercising them and giving them fresh air and getting them used to the crowds in that hair. Is this their first time showing? Uh, actually, yes. It'll be her very first time and his second time. They're just babies now. So they're learning and taking all the, all the scenes in. Serana. And the little girl is Serana. Whoops, crash. And it's Serana. <laughs> and this is Tattletail. Oh, Tattletail. 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 What is it about the Cavalier King Charles Spaniels that drew you to the breed? Um, actually, we call them love sponges. I mean, <laughs> uh, a stranger is a friend they just have never met yet. They just love the world. They love to sit in your lap. Easy going, friendly, just a really fun all around dog. And they just love the world. They make me smile all the time. <laughs> Don't you guys? Yes. Right, Serana? <laughs> Especially you. Yes, you are. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you so much and good luck. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Lois oh. Snyder. I'm from Oconomowoc, Wisconsin, and this is my Saluki Pekin. And we're already done showing, so we're just hanging around with our friends for the beautiful day that it is. How did your dog do today? She won a point toward her championship. Oh, congratulations. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. So I've bred these for. 32 years, and I guess the big claim to fame is I owned her great, great, great grandmother.
Wow. Yeah. And all the intermediate generations. And what is it about Salukis? <laughs> what is it about Salukis? It's their aloofness, their cat-like qualities. Um, they're very quiet dogs in the house. They're very active dogs outside. There's a breed here for everybody. There's a breed that suits their life and their personality, and that's why there are 150, 200 odd breeds. And this is the breed that suits me. That's great. I've never heard it put that way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for the next person, you know, their their Shih Tzu is exactly what they need to have on their lap to watch TV with, and. For the next person, their um, German Shepherd that guards their family and is a great companion is perfect for them. None, no, none of them are better than the other. They're just all different. Thank you. Sure. There you go. Good luck tomorrow. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I do. Can you tell us your name, where you're from, and about your English setter, please? My name is Terry Romeo, and I'm from Blue Island, Illinois, and this is Jethro. He's here to participate in today's show and hopefully win. <laughs> He's telling everyone about him. He is. He's letting everybody know. Watch me. Look at me. <laughs> Hi, buddy. You say hello? Well, dr right now, Jethro is being in the act. He's being groomed right now. The bottom part of his coat is quite wet. Right. He's being groomed and uh, bathed, and then we're going to blow dry him out. Just like going to the beauty parlor. It's a day at the spa. <laughs> and then he gets rewarded with, you know, the bait. And then if he wins, he'll get rewarded even more. <laughs> How old is Jethro? Jethro is two years old. He just had his birthday. Oh. So he's, letting, he's telling everybody to sing. <laughs> Some of the handlers are, are top handlers from across the Midwest, and they're here just to show their dogs to get points for hopefully championships on the dogs. Um, the accommodation here is quite nice because there are areas where they can set up pens for the dogs and it's just really nice. And I'm Laura Griffin, I'm Vice President of the Sheboygan Kennel Club Show and I want to thank you for viewing our show this year. Uh, actually shows, we do have two, it's on a Saturday and a Sunday, usually about the third weekend in September. So. You can see the Brewers won last night, so I'm very happy I have my Brewers <laughs> instead of my doggy shirt on today. But thanks for coming to the shows. Never had a bad day, always happy in the ring, and most of the times carried the tail. I would. It's always tiring on performance day. I don't remember what his name was, but I, he had us over for dinner, the lawyer.